Nothing has eaten in like three days. Close to the truck. I was coming. I didn't either. <laughs> Will be missed. I thought the name was Mark. I didn't even have the right name. What's up, YouTube? Mark, Mike here, back with another video. We've got some special visitors in this video today, but it's a little bit bittersweet for me, so we'll get into that. Before we do, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell for notifications, and if you like the video, please like the video. So don't mind me guys, it's super early in the morning and I'm really, really tired. I usually get to sleep a lot more and I didn't get to sleep much last night. So uh, we'll see how this goes. We are rehoming a bunch of the rescues and fish that we've taken in uh, over the past like year or so. I don't usually have the lights on this early. They don't usually come on until basically nighttime, honestly. So. Uh, we're early in the morning, turning the lights on now, everything's very active. Nothing has eaten in like three days, maybe a little more. So um, everything is purged and ready to go on a trip. So as you guys know, I have taken in a bunch of rescues. So a bunch of those are going to be going to OFR. And um, some of it's bittersweet. Uh, so... My Planiceps cat has definitely been one of my favorite catfish to keep. But I did promise that cat to OFR. I know that uh, Joshy loves the Planiceps cats and he does have a small one again, but they don't have a nice big one like this. So I'm gonna give them that as kind of like a gift, but they are gonna come get that red tail. I'm also gonna give them uh, my hybrid which I've had for a couple years now, actually. And uh, the vulture, I wanted to keep the marble cat, but the previous owners really wanted the marble cat to go to OFR with um, Willie, the big red tail, so. I love you, Willie. So I'm gonna give him the marble cat too. And I'm also gonna give him a vulture cat because uh, even though the vulture cat stays kind of small, I could kind of keep them. It would just be good to clear up some space for me. And I have tried to rehome the vulture, but there's really nobody local who wants him. So I'm going to give uh, the vulture cat to OFR too. It's a pretty good sized vulture. So that'll clear up a ton of space in this tank. I decided I'm going to keep the iridescent shark. So I'm just going to add him in, you know, keep him with my other two iridescent sharks. I had. I had very recently got down to just the two iridescent sharks where I just had the one albino and the one big blue, but again, I have decided to keep another big blue. I really enjoy this guy, and um, I think he fits in pretty well. He's about the size of my other one. He's still really fat, and he hasn't eaten much in the past few days, so. But yeah, we are waiting on Reaper to come pick things up. Look who's here. A little close to the truck. I was coming. I didn't either. <laughs> I just I watched him on you. Go get these fish, else. you know. And I thought the name was Mark. I didn't even have the right name. <laughs> I had the right name. <laughs> well, Big Rich will always keep you guessing, right? Yeah. yeah there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Let's uh, stop with something a little smaller. Okay, let me try to bring this guy to you. Oh, you got him. Oh, you got 
disappears. What's that? Take the thing, handle. Oh, yeah, it's easy. All right, guys, last but not least, my Planiceps cat will be missed. Absolutely will be missed, but go into a good home. All right, Planiceps, last one. I'll try to get him to come. If you want to put the net like right here, right? so it's like in front, kind of in the corner there, yeah, I'll try to move that one over. Where did he go? <laughs> back corner, back right. Where did he go? Like the opposite way that I hoped. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna scare him that way. Hopefully, he'll make a big circle. Come to you. Yeah, I got some room. I really want to focus on the Fly River more, so less uh, possibilities of him getting hurt, type of thing, um, and easier to feed. Yeah, he's got some good size on him. Just a little smaller than you, but maybe the same. I can't tell because the water, you know, it always looks so much different. But he's nice. Like I said, yeah. I didn't even notice him the first time because he was way in that corner like that. Yep, yep. And it's like, oh, where's the fly river? Well, thank you guys very much for coming. It was nice to have you. Is nice I uh, I definitely appreciate you guys freeing up some stock, and I know that the. Um, the previous owners of a lot of these fish appreciate it too, so. Yeah. It's a long drive for you guys. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is a long drive. Long drive home. But I'm sure we'll see you here in a few years or whatever. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Get more stock and get over full and that's yep. what we do. I'm sure I'll be up to visit too. Awesome. Cool. Thank What's you guys. There? You got the, the bowl? It's right there. We bid farewell to all the cats. Here you go, Joshy. I hope you enjoy. So big shout out again to Reaper and Luke for coming out. I went to Ohio Fish Rescue last year and that is a brutal ride. It's at least 10 hours. You know, you gotta stop a couple times. So, you know, they just did that straight. I think Reaper drove here and then Luke drove back that is just absolutely brutal. They did it all in one day. So much appreciation to them. I'm sure Big Rich appreciates it as well. Uh, missed you, buddy. Hopefully we'll get to see you next time. I'm sure I'll be uh, over to visit again in the future. The 1100 looks way better. I'm thinking about moving this short body red tail catfish to the 1500. Um, the only issue is obviously this will be a beast to feed this tank will be a beast to feed But he's getting a little bit territorial with pretty much everything So I think it'd be good to kind of move him out and again I just want to make this uh, more of an ideal setup for the fly river turtle things that can't really bother him um, This big hybrids a little bit aggressive with eating and so isn't the ray, but there's a ton of space I, I think I can get away with that Ideally, I would like to move the ray out as well, but it's just not practical for me right now. Hopefully someday I'll be able to separate this ray too, because I just don't like, you know, they just get too close. But I am very happy um, with this. I'm happy with having a lot more space. I'm sure all the fish appreciate it too. I can feed things a lot easier, that's for sure. Make sure you guys go check out the video that Reaper did on OFR Behind the Scenes YouTube channel. You'll get a different perspective of the whole rescue, a little bit more filming, and me and Reaper even had a calf size competition, which I think I won. So make sure to check that out, guys. Go to OFR Behind the Scenes, so you can check out that other video. But I thank you guys, as always, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, I ask you to please subscribe, 
to the channel and make sure you go subscribe to Ohio Fish Rescue and Ohio Fish Rescue behind the scenes channel. Follow me on Instagram at Off the Deep End Aquatics and I will see you guys in that next video. Thanks.